Now, from WHO 13 Sports, this is the Football Friday Primetime Coach's Corner, powered by Homemakers. Welcome to our second Coach's Corner of the season. I'm Keith Murphy. My primetime partner, Justin Cernsey, will join us in just a moment. Our Football Friday Primetime matchup features Radio Iowa's current number one ranked team, that's the Dowling Catholic Maroons, and the preseason number one, the Ankeny Hawks. These are two good football teams. Kickoff Friday night at 7 p.m. right here on WHO 13 and streaming on WHO13.com. And I'm joined now by the head coach of the Ankeny Hawks, uh, Jeff Bauer, and coach knows no Fridays off on the Ankeny schedule, Centennial, then SEP, the three-time defending state champion, now number one Dowling Catholic. So, Coach, how, how do you manage it when you know you're going to have such a tough start to the schedule? Well, we try to take it week by week, obviously. And, uh, you know, week one against Centennial, we, it was tight at halftime, and they pulled away in the second half because uh, they out physical us. Last week, I thought we played much better offensive line, we created holes, we moved the ball, we outgained Southeast Polk yardage wise, but mm -hmm. we didn't finish. Red zone was an issue last week as far as. You know, we had to kick three field goals and we only had one touchdown. Uh, had a fourth down play inside the 10 late to tie it up and it fell short. So we, we were right there. Um, we know we have a talented team, but we're 0-2 right now. So that's what we are. You know you have a good football team. And now here comes Dowling Catholic. Uh, how do you try to get your guys to give maximum effort, be in this football game, but not feel too much pressure? Because it is hard not to think about needing that first win. No, that's true. And it's been tough. You know, at practice, you can tell the, the guys are hungry for a win, mm -hmm. obviously. And, you know, some people, you know, some of them react differently. There's some that are pushing forward, some get a little tight. Hopefully, as the week goes and we get closer, hey, We've been here, we've done that. We have a lot of return starters from last year's team that went to the state championship. So I, I think those guys will lead. And once our leaders get going, I think it will fall in place. You know head coach Tom Wilson and Dowling Catholic well. Yes. You played Dowling in the quarterfinals last year. As you said, uh, advanced, went to the Dome, ended up in the state championship game. What do you remember from that run and specifically in that game against uh, Dowling to get to the Dome? I remember there weren't many possessions in the game because our offense was very efficient that night. It, we took, I think it was like a nine minute drive, very first drive of the game, which cuts the game really short. Um, you know, last year, Dowling took it to us week, uh, week three last year when we played them. And we came back and tried to control the ball and control the ball, and not let them have many possessions. And that Our defense played awesome last year in that game and we, we kept it close and close and held on for that 14-7 win. You both have some players back, but of course each team is a different team. Each year is a different team. Uh, what, what do you think it will take for your Hawks to beat Dowling Friday night? What would you like to see to be in that game in the fourth quarter? I mean, I, I hope we're balanced offensively and I hope we convert, you know, in the red zone. That's been, we've, we've been moving up the, the ball off the field in the middle of the field. It's just when we get close to the the goal line where it's been some issues. So offense, we just have to finish the bottom line. And the defense, uh, I think we just have to tackle well. Obviously, we know that, you know, their star running back is back for us, you know, and uh, we'll have to tackle well. They, it's not just him. They have a slew of good running backs there that we have to make sure we tackle. Our coach later in the show, uh, your captain, Lucas Beroth, will join yes. me here in studio. Tell me a few words about Lucas. Lucas is, he'll be a three-year starter. He was, a, he was the only captain last year as a junior. He's a, I mean, he's been a leader in our program. Great kid, high character kid, smart. And uh, yeah, with it, he's our long snapper. I mean, he, he leads that group up front. Awesome kid. He, he's nice too though, right? I don't need to be nervous. Uh, he's pretty nice. Okay. Until okay. you get the pads on, then he's a little different. So. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, thank you so much, Coach. We appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, it, it won't get easier for Ankeny, as we said. The team the Hawks face Friday is undefeated to start, but the, as we said, the last Dowling loss came at the hands of Coach Bowers' Hawks in the playoffs. So when we return, we'll head out to Justin Cernsey, who is on the field with Dowling head coach Tom Wilson.